¡Hola! ¡Entre, entre! Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool built by the Precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is wrong. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! Watch the streets and alleys. They could be anywhere. Nimble one, I'll give you that. <laughs> ha! 
hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Stop, or I'll kneecap you. Well done, lap dog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck. Return myself a governor, and with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. Sink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most. How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... Have you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device that could follow people around and show where they were. A ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. Imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up on it. There's a sage in that house I must speak to in private.
Pattaya. What is your true name, Rogue? It's a... Uh... Captain Pissoff. Bien que pauvre Piso. Where is the sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Waldo. A despicable display. This Tusspot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father. Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? The seas are uneasy today. We're stealing a brig. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Sailing with me. I follow you to hell for this, mate. Oh, my God. 
Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. Going topside. Be ready. Galleons. See, they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too slow for this weather. Brace yourselves! Fire! Happy die! Stop any orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Fire! 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 Fire!
Man, stay away! It's not looking good. This one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. Ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! Taking this one home. I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. Sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, that shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's a good start. When do you find love? Can we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linen stocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and bleach ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. Worry about your own armament when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaws. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine position. She's vulnerable there, Captain! Get our dogs right to Ready to spit fire! Down the door, but then! Hold place shot there! Concentrate on the task at hand! Fire! They're on their bow line to head! Fire! 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 Cannon ready! Bane's up, let's go! Bail off and loose those things! Round it all on! More sail! Give me more sail! Dose the gallants and royal! This is more like it.
Aye, Captain. Find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. you find no civilization in Nassau. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. <laughs> 